So this video is going to be a quick tip for anyone who charges their PlayStation controller using a USB wall adapter or a power brick. Now, in most cases, you can connect your PS5 or your PlayStation 4 controller to one of these adapters and it should charge the controller. But there are a few things that I recommend you check before doing this to avoid ruining or damaging your expensive PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 controller. If you're watching, make sure to leave a like rating on this video for good luck. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I recommend is to make sure that you are not using a fast charger with your PlayStation 5 or your PlayStation 4 controller. Now, this is something that I have personally used in the past, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing it because lots of users have claimed that they have accidentally fried or shortened the battery life of their controller by using these fast charging wall adapters. Now I have read that the PS5 controllers are a lot smarter with the fast charging adapters, but in my opinion, I don't think it's worth risking it because the PS5 is still relatively new and we don't know how these fast charging adapters could be affecting the controller battery in the long term. So to avoid ruining your PS5 controller, I'd recommend not using the fast chargers. Now, secondly is choosing the right wall adapter for your PlayStation controller. I recommend looking at the power brick itself and it should say 5V or 5 volts. For amps, you want to look for 1.5 amps or greater. The one I use is actually an official Sony wall adapter. And if you'd like to pick one of these up, I will have an affiliate link in the description box below where you can purchase them from Amazon. The next thing you wanna do is fairly simple and that is connect your adapter to the wall and charge your PlayStation controller. You'll know it's charging if you see the slow pulsing yellow light. So now you know how to avoid ruining your PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 controller when using a USB wall adapter to charge your controller. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you found it useful or at least interesting. And if you did, make sure to leave a like rating on this video, comment below to let me know what you think. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys next time.